Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This morning, we're gonna be cooking some breakfast. So, for the comment question today, what is something that you would enjoy just eating every day for breakfast? Because what I'm gonna have is hash browns and eggs. Something I've been eating for quite a while and something that I think I can continue to eat every day. It's just nice, I enjoy it. So. Let us know down in the comments what you would enjoy every day. So with that, let's get cooking. And here we have the hash browns. I, it's a cup and a half of the shredded hash browns. Uh, we just get it at Walmart and just spray some oil in it and let it cook. I like mine to get a little bit crispy um, slightly burnt, but I like it. Um, and then we put on this Julio seasoning. It's pretty much the best seasoning. Um, we've talked about it before and lots of other videos and cooking, but I feel like it really makes it. So here we have some crispy, crispy hash browns. You can hear them sizzle. And now we just get to move on to the eggs. All right, we got our fried eggs going. Fried eggs frying. And we'll get them flipped here in a minute. And they get cooked and then just toss them in with the hash browns. Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so happy to have you here. If you're new, I'm Brian, and you just saw my husband Andrew with his breakfast and we are on WW. I'm on the green plan, he's on a blue plan. So today we're just gonna show you what a day in our eating is like using our points for choosing our meals and our snacks and everything. So I have 37 points on the green plan and Andrew has 25 on the blue plan. He has hit his goal of 25 pounds lost, but he is still in weight loss mode to see if he can lose about five more pounds, see if his body can sustain that kind of a loss. So um, he will be eating in a deficit um, for the next few months to see if that's what his body's capable of and then he'll switch to maintenance um, in a few months which he'll get more points for but right now we're both eating at the weight loss points so they're 25 for him 37 for me and so for breakfast you saw my coffee i've been drinking it on the way to work and um, it's just a premier protein with two and a half shots of coffee and then i water it down to make it like an actual coffee, like an Americana with a, a, a quite protein. <laughs> I sometimes count three points for this. It is only two points, but it's 160 calories for a protein shake. And that's a little bit over the normal one point to 50 calories. So sometimes depending on my day, in order to ensure that I'm in a caloric deficit because I understand calories really well, I sometimes count this for three points, 
just to be safe. But um, today, I think I'm counting it as three points for today to go with the rest of my meals. And then it, I put my greens in here with one of the, let me see. So it's this brand, but it's the Weiler's Light, just lemonade, it's the plain lemonade. That and then the greens that I have is a banana apple flavor. It's really good tasting. So together it's really, really good. So I get 25 ounces of water and my greens in, in my first water tumbler pretty much every day. And then I'm doing things a little differently. I'm making a lighter breakfast to save more points and more calories for dinner because I found that in the past few weeks, I'm just so dang snacky in between lunch and dinner and then like sometimes in the evening. So I kind of shot myself in the foot last week by having my large breakfast like normal and then still having the urge to snack. So what I'm doing is I'm having a lighter calorie, lighter point breakfast to save points for a couple snacks in the afternoon and I tried it out yesterday and it worked perfect so for breakfast I'm just having my coffee which does have I don't know 15 30 grams of protein which will keep me full it's just sometimes when you drink your protein or drink your calories it doesn't feel like you're full so that's what I have there and then I'm going to be having one of these special k pastry crisp the brown cinnamon brown sugar cinnamon is my favorite flavor. This is the best. The strawberry is great too and so is the blueberry, but this one's my favorite. It is 100 calories from one of these, but it is also four points. So this is an inflated item, but that helps with other things like the coffee when it's not inflated. But anyways, um, so 100 calories, four points for this, three points for this. So I have a seven point breakfast and then I have my first water and greens for the day. So that'll finish out my breakfast for this morning and I will check in with you at lunchtime. Good afternoon. It is lunchtime for me, not the dogs that are on the job, even though they look cute. So I am going to be having a six point lunch. So it is four points for the rice and then it is two points for two ounces of the uh, beef round steak. So I just added that in. I have about five ounces of chicken. And on the blue plan, that is zero points. And then it is also zero points for the two and a half ounces of shrimp that I have. And then I added uh, a little less than a half a cup of corn so there it is it's 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 a good amount uh, so this is what I'm gonna be having for this week also and I had something similar I believe a couple weeks ago and it was good this time I added the corn and yeah so we're gonna give that a try Hey guys, welcome back for lunch. Um, it's about 12.45, so I went ahead and made my salad. That's what I'm having for lunch today. This is what it looks like. So yeah, there's my salad in my giant bowl. Because I like it. Anyways, so this salad is eight points on green. It is a mix of um, just iceberg and there's um, a baby spring mix with like arugula, baby spinach, and cabbage. And then I've got tricolor coleslaw. Um, so that's the greens mix. And then I use three tablespoons of Ken's Light and Creamy Caesar dressing, which is three points. For, did I say two, three tablespoons? I used two tablespoons for three points, it's 31 grams. Um, and then I have about four ounces of chicken on here. Um, it's grilled in a lemon pepper seasoning, which is bomb. It makes the whole salad taste like really awesome. And then I have 14 grams of Caesar seasoned croutons <laughs> um, for two points. And then I have 28 grams of fat-free feta crumbles for one point. So it's an eight point salad, if that all added up correctly. If you were to be on 
blue, this would only be um, three points for the dressing, two points for the croutons, and then one point for the feta. Um, and taking consideration, the feta, if you knock it down to like, I think 26 grams and below, it's, it's zero points. So I take the point hit because it's still calories. So I make sure I get 28 grams for one point. Um, and total calories for this is roughly about 310 calories, just depending on, you know, your weight of grams, um, if they differ by a few. So 310 calories, eight points on blue. I'm sorry, eight points on green, six points on blue. Does that add up? I don't know. Anyways, that's my salad lunch. And then I've got another tumbler full of water. This is my third one today. So I kind of need to pick it up. So I've gotten about 50 ounces in this morning and it's almost one. So definitely need to chug this one down. And yeah, so that's my lunch. We'll check in when I will definitely have a snack. So we'll check in when I have my next snack. Hey guys, so it is almost four o'clock and this is when I am having my snacking urges each day for some reason. Um, it's been a big deal all last week and this week, so, but I have come up with, like I mentioned, a little bit more snacking options and points. So what I'm going to have is some of this turkey pepperoni. It's from HEB and I'm going to be having 21 slices, which is roughly 40 grams it'll be about 100 calories for all of that so i'm gonna have two points of this um, right now and then a little bit later before i leave work i'm going to have this bag of the quicker rice crisps it's the buttermilk ranch flavor it is two points for this bag it's 80 calories these are really really good if you follow us on instagram i've talked about the cheddar one and how i got a um a big variety pack in our grocery haul but these have been awesome to find and to have for this particular instance like the protein in this will keep me full but then i also like a crunchy snack so oddly enough i don't mix these but these for my late afternoon snack have been really really great so it'll be four points total for my afternoon snacks so two points for this and two points for this and it'll Really, it ties me up really well until we have dinner. So yeah, I'm just gonna munch on that. And I've got my fifth, fifth tumbler of water, which means I'm at about 100 ounces right now. And trust me, I can feel it. I have not gone to the bathroom so many times here at work before, but this is something I am really, really working on. This is a really big goal of mine right now is increase my water. I've never been a water drinker. My husband, Andrew, can drink water all day long, but he also goes to the bathroom all day long. So this will be my fifth one. They're 24 ounces each. So I'm really excited because this is kind of my goal is to get about five of these in a day and getting it in before five o'clock is freaking awesome. So I'm just really excited about that. But yeah, so that'll be my afternoon and I will check in with you guys when we make dinner. Hey guys, welcome back. We just fixed up dinner, so we want to kind of show you what we've got. This is a new, not recipe because it was like thrown together, but it's a new meal that we discovered over the weekend and we really, really enjoy it. So you'll probably see it a little more often. So I'll show you our plates. All right, so this is basically a baked potato with barbecue brisket on top. It's a Texas version of a loaded baked potato, which is really really good when you go to any kind of barbecue restaurant or like i don't know any kind of chop house and so this is actually a very leftovers meal which is great it took maybe at most 30 minutes to cook everything and put it together and that's only because the carrots literally take 30 minutes in the oven so that's the only reason it was so long. So what we have here is I have five ounces of um, a russet potato. The Andrew has nine ounces of russet potato and that only took seven minutes in the microwave. We tried beforehand to cook it in the oven and that took 12 years and it never got soft. So we decided to do it in the microwave and it is beautifully soft. And so it for my five ounce potato, 
I believe it is four points. Andrew's nine ounce is coming up at six points, so it gets significantly less points as you go up, and that is uncooked russet potato. Six ounces, or sorry, nine ounces is six points. I have like a five and a half ounce, four points, which is fine because I'll take the points. And then two points for my roasted carrots, which I freaking love and I have with every meal if I can. And then we've got some buttery spaghetti squash that we steamed. That is zero points. And then we ha each have one point of barbecue sauce. We each have three ounces of brisket. That is pretty good on points. It's only four points for that. And then Andrew has zero points worth of French cut green beans. So really, 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 really point friendly meal. And it is so, so filling. It's a great leftovers recipe, especially when you have like leftover potatoes if you buy a bag and have a few left over. Really, really great. And we did not make this <laughs> chopped brisket ourselves because one, we don't have a smoker and two, our oven is tiny so we actually just went down the street to a barbecue restaurant and we just did a to go order of just regular brisket no sauce and added our own sauce so yeah i'll put the points on the screen for each of our plates but this is such a great meal definitely try it out if you like barbecue super super good and these are great sides as well Alright guys, so it is pretty late, so we're just going to grab a snack and finish today out. I'm going to have some of the NYX Coffee Caramel Ice Cream. This is super, super good. It is four points for a cup of it, which is half the container, and that's 120 calories for that. This is so dang good. Like, I'll show you. This is what the bowl looks like. A lot of ice cream swirls of caramel swirls of coffee it's so good and it is so creamy like if you haven't jumped on the nyx coffee train or coffee nyx ice cream train yet get it and then andrew is gonna have a one point snack over here so he's gonna have these apples which we have left over and he's gonna do the fun fetty cake batter dip for one point it's really really good he we just used the plain greek yogurt this will be one point for him so it's got the fun fatty cake dip in it and the, um, what is it, vanilla pudding mix? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vanilla pudding jello mix in it. So yeah, that'll be one point for that. And then he's going to just slice up the two apples and that'll be his one point dessert for this evening. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all of you who watch and support us and it, it definitely does not go unnoticed. So if you have any suggestions or any meals you think we should try, leave them down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and we will see you guys in our next video.